let's show the actual modular system that you have for your bed now. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I have the bed cut into pieces uh -huh. so that I can myself take it in and out of the car. This is your first trip out. Yeah. Look yeah. at how many things you figured out already. I know, but I have been watching you guys and watching your mistakes and your successes. And yeah. I've probably watched 500 videos in the last <laughs> two years. I mean, I bought things that are obsolete now, but everybody, yeah. Bob Wells said that the stove I have was the best, most stable, blah, blah, blah. Well, no one uses it anymore. So It has to fit you. Yeah. That's why I like to always say, go out and try it. Yeah. And then buy it. Then buy it. Mm -hmm. I had bought a vintage RV um, uh -huh. and it turned out that I couldn't manage it. Yeah. So now I say couldn't. You know, I think we're all able to do yes. whatever whatever's out there. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean we have the time. It doesn't mean that it fits into our lifestyle. Yeah. So for me, I didn't have I didn't have the time I wanted to spend to learn generators mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. pff, all that stuff. It so, wasn't important for it you wasn't to important. fix that up. No. So uh, it's not that you couldn't. You could. Mm -hmm. But you chose not to. Right. And then go. gas prices went so crazy and I drive from Washington uh, to Arizona every year and back again mm -hmm. and last year I spent like a thousand dollars just one way on because I foolishly traveled through the Zion area in uh, uh. in the time when everybody else wanted to yeah. and I paid like 250 for hotel rooms <gasps> oh, so that's ridiculous. I got back and I thought I am never doing that again yeah and so I was in Minnesota when I found this van, mm -hmm. and uh, my siblings all checked it out. It cost me two grand to have a ship to Washington, but it was the only way that I could figure out how to do it because, yeah. you know, I had uh, some, res I had things that I had already yeah. promised I would do, and all right. so that's how I got this because I couldn't find one like this in yeah. Washington. Yeah, and uh, I'm just so pleased I got. 29 my gallons to 29 gallons to the mile did i say oh that? you drive really well i don't know if i've ever gotten that I don't that really was one time yeah. yeah and i don't check now but coming down i got anywhere from 24 to 29 yeah and um because i have a dog yeah. i got this cover for it yeah so but how many pieces mm. is this in too how many pieces that was one how many pieces do you have this um and again, this was just one piece of plywood. That yeah, you I cut. Recut. So, yeah. okay, one, two, I can't remember now. And I think this piece here is about three feet long. Okay, and then you have one in the back. Right. So three pieces, uh, pretty much. Yes, and I'm going to have it made into four. One other spot's going to be okay. cut after this trip. Okay. And we'll uh, put the... Why don't you put that back to, tonight? You may forget, and then you'll be sorry. <laughs> let okay. me hold. Let me hold this up for okay. you. <laughs> and then uh, that car, that uh, that door panel for car for dogs. Yeah, let's yeah. look at that too. But yeah. uh, let me let me come around, and then you can also show the mat that you have for your dog too. That's kind of cool. How you use that? I'm gonna I'm gonna come around. By the way, Jan, we have forgot to introduce you, so let's do a little brief introduction for Jan Lovick, mm -hmm. okay? And Jan is actually going to be having a mini meetup with me when I come to Lake Havasu, so she's a host on Nomads Down the Road, mm -hmm. and um, what we going to have maybe five six other ladies that are going to come yeah. to, so that's going to be really fun, but all right, so show us... Let's finish up with the bed is just made out of wood. It's just, you know, pretty simple how you did this. It's and then you use brackets there. Anybody could do that. It's your regular standard piece of plywood. Yeah. And anybody so can the make extra some legs. pieces are the legs. Yeah, and you have a little apron. This is called, this is what's called an apron all around here like this. And then you screw it in. Okay. And then you have that cool bed that folds up. 
So now you have a lounge. Yes. Put another little mattress on the top of that for more comfort, uh, right? Yeah, it was just a topper. Yeah. And you go to Marketplace. I scrounge Marketplace and the okay. Goodwill. So this is, I think, a great idea, too, if you have dogs. Tell us about this little um, quilt. Well, even, is it made for dogs, or did somebody yes. make this, this for you? Is, you can go online and look for covers for your couches. Yeah, it has, like, little... Um, uh, dog paws. <laughs> yeah, but, it, I mean, so it won't slip. Yes. That's kind of cool. And, and this was meant for a couch. Mm -hmm. uh, the only one I saw that only served... Um, the the bench part of the couch mm -hmm. and I had one that I could have used that goes over the back too but I would have had to cut it and had someone sew it and I yeah. don't do that yeah so that's why I found this piece that's very nice I can wash it between trips yeah I have a 60 pound dog that comes in we go hiking in the water and the mud and the and uh he jumps up on that soaking wet I'm yeah my bedding's wet so <laughs> This is a really an important thing for me. Right. To have. So one thing um, that I think is unique about the way that you did your bed is it's an L. Right. Because let me see if I can get in here like this. So so this is her bed here, but then she has just your seat up there, right? Right. That's yeah. your back uh, seat. That was an experiment for me to see. Yeah. Um, if I would use it, because everybody talks about if the weather's bad, what do you do in your van? So be prepared. Mm -hmm. Think about how how you're going to spend time. As I'm sitting there at night, uh -huh. he's able to lay here and be at my height. Okay. And uh, yeah, and, and that's really comforting for him. Really comforting, and, and for me too. Yeah. He's my. You know, I didn't know there was such a thing, but I think he's my emotional support. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, then it, and then this piece is 12 inches. Well, no, that's not true. Well, let me come back there. I also want to talk about this cool tent Don't that you, you just know, put you're up. You're supposed to let people clean your house before you do. <laughs> well, this is this is for the moment. So this 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 peak piece is like 90 inches long oh yeah but because of my dog i wanted something yeah really long and uh the gaming chair that i'm using as a mattress yeah i really like um, that look how long that is and yeah and i just made this foam out of that yeah. you know a a bed topper yeah. yeah and so i have a separate here and what i want to do is have this piece cut because okay. i i have a well down here now mm -hmm. And so it'd be nice if this lifted and I could easily mm -hmm. use does this your, case. Does your dog sleep back here then or is he too well, big? Well, it's been cold. Mm -hmm. So I only have 20, 30 inches. And he crawls up alongside of me uh. and I'm on the edge of the bed. No, because <laughs> so I was just wondering why you have does. this mat here if you're not using it. Well, when the weather gets warm, we'll find out. Okay. how he uses it i see you want to try to train him back here then so you can have your seat back yes. <laughs> and your bed back and he gets really hot he doesn't like to sleep next to me as okay. a rule yeah. here is 20 inches yeah and that's and, the back of your seat right and uh technically down here it's 24 but uh -huh. because the seat comes at an angle yeah and uh so if need be he can have all this space and i think when it gets hot and with this on it, yeah. he's going to want to be on the edge here. Mm -hmm. You know, not very many people uh, go out on these with big dogs. I, I, I do have seen a couple of people who do yeah. go with two. Mm -hmm. But finding a way to do it that is, uh, well, at my age, the potty's <laughs> important. <laughs> you gotta get yeah. to, you got to get to it, right? Yeah. And I can't have him on the floor because no. I need that space. Yeah. And here he is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and what's his name? Blaze. Can Blaze. you say hi, Blaze? Show He's her, been show her your so two, friendly your two and colored nice. eyes, huh? Has mm -hmm. two colored eyes? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna try to get up there? <laughs> mm -hmm. Here, let's see if you can get up there. Huh? Can you get up? Oh, there he goes! Wow. Wow. And <laughs> there is why I have a cover. <laughs> yeah, that's why you have the cover. Okay. Yeah, so, um, great. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the potential and being here today and seeing what 
all you gals are doing is yeah. really inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Now you got this tent from a friend. Yes. And I, <laughs> I didn't come over at that time. I was starving. We had brunch, uh -huh. and then it was what like four, four thirty. I'm going. You, I gotta eat like a lunch dinner, and so I kind of had a. I don't know. What would you call a lunch dinner? Uh, it, we call that a, uh, a snack. <laughs> <laughs> this fits so well. What were some of the uses that we were talking about, Jan, for this tent? Obviously a potty for the day. Shower, bathroom. A shower, yeah. And also just a mini little sleeping area. Yeah, you can get a little cot, folding cot for, yeah. you said, was it your sister or cousin? I have a sister who wants to go from here to Minnesota and a friend who wants to go from Minnesota to Washington. All right, um, show me that other thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, there's... Uh, an eye mask, a heavy one to use. Okay. Um, so there's this piece here, and this is really, I had it uh, to cover my doors and my Subaru from my dog when he was a puppy jumping up all the time. I can do this, and then I have my iPad in there, my eye mask, you know, all that kind of That's stuff. That's kind of nice, because you could just like reach on the side of your bed here and put stuff in there. Right, unless you have a dog squished in there, then you can. Yeah. So that's why I want them in the back. And then the other thing, the, none of these gals use this, so I'm going to bring this up. Okay. Um, my hot logic. Oh my gosh. You feel how hot that is? Yeah. Yeah. Now, tonight it's spaghetti. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, last night it was salmon. Yeah. And the night before it was beef, crock pot beef. That, mm -hmm. And I make them freeze pork yep. and put them in here, plug them in, and... Well, let me tell you something. I just recently did a video with uh, the new YouTube creator, um, Pioneer Grandma. Oh, yes. She loves her hot logic. She does too, huh? Mm hmm She loves it. You guys need to get together. You need oh. to connect on Nomads Down the Road. Well, gosh, would love to do that. Yeah. Pioneer well, Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely connect with Cindy. Cindy Shipley is her name. And I really think if you have an opportunity to get together with a group like this, yeah. you'll learn so much. So I much. Didn't, I didn't get a power station because I couldn't figure out what size I needed. Mm -hmm. And someone here has loaned me their Jackery 1000 to, st to, to charge stoke it. up my new freezer yeah. that you brought me yeah. and I'm buying from you. Yeah. And uh, so, gosh, the helping hands and everybody's so eager to. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, birds of a feather flock together. There you go. Right? And, Perfectly uh, put. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited about the possibilities of the future. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that you made something, a little gadget here for your curtains. That's kind of cool. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, yeah. These are those plumbing. Um, yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> can you take it out or no? Okay. Yeah, I can take it out. And um, so it was much bigger than this. Yeah. And I just kept screwing it down smaller and smaller yeah. and then I covered this with a lot of duct tape because I don't know what's inside here and I didn't want to hurt it I think and an airbag might yeah. be and they're sharp right yeah so and I have duct tape that has dogs mm -hmm. cats on it. so uh and this it put it right in there yeah and this is one of those expansion rods and what really makes it work is having those little knobbers on there mm -hmm. so they don't slide off now what do you and, do when you drive well I, so what i've been doing when i drive because i did it because i was lazy uh -huh. but now it works just great i just drop it like this oh, okay and um and i have plenty of visibility mm -hmm. and my dog can jump from the front to the back and perfect uh, yeah so keep them in the front seat mm -hmm. so at night i use them in the front seat and then i can also use them to cover things up so no one could see so, uh and i i scoured the internet for what people were doing with these things i haven't seen this and, uh, did you come up with that yourself well i must have <laughs> okay yeah. there you go i was trying to First time out in her minivan, and she came up with with something with a with a Jan original. So easy, anybody could do that. Anybody could do that. Yeah. So that's life, beautiful. Life is, life is good when yeah. you tell me that. 
<laughs> I mean, really. I've been watching you for so long, and uh, and there's there's a, a number of people out there who have great YouTube mm -hmm. sites. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so much you can learn from. So and, much, uh, yeah. And so, but it doesn't matter if you've, you know, a hundred thousand subscribers or three. You know, it's who is attracted to you is your following. Everybody is different, you know. And you were starting, a, uh, you had started just before I was uh, looking at doing this. Okay. And I think since I started watching you, you gave me permission to do this, even though you didn't realize it. Since I have started watching you, you have probably remodeled your van a half a dozen times. <laughs> a little and things, yeah. So then that said to me, I don't have to be perfect. I don't yeah. have to do it right. I can just do it and keep changing it. I'm one of these people who don't do something until I have all the answers and everything. Well, then you don't do things. Exactly. Right? If so, not now, when? When? When, that's, when, when. Yes, that's something you said, and uh -huh. that's really stuck with me. Experiment and do your own thing before yeah. you put out a bunch of money, seriously. <laughs> and so many people that I've talked to, especially at this meetup, mm -hmm. for some reason, they've made me feel so good about, I thought, you know, I'm so weird because I keep changing. Every trip I change my van a little yeah. bit, and they said, weird I do the same thing. That's how you learn. Yeah. So, yeah. That's great. So I don't feel weird anymore. <laughs> no, and I, my n great nephew, when I went and saw him this w uh, winter, said to me, Aunt Jan, you are weird. And I said, thank you. <laughs> and I said, why do you think I'm weird? Well, who else loads their suitcase up with rocks and brings them to my dad? Uh... And, but the thing is, is what he was saying is doing something no one else is doing mm -hmm. and 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 I now think that's a badge of honor if someone calls me weird all right yeah Thanks can so we much. just be weird together oh we Let's can be weird together and her too she wants to be weird with us she has an awesome man isn't she? yeah she does she has an awesome yes. man all right <laughs> thank you so well, much see you on the road <laughs> This is like a dream of my, you doing this to me. I mean, this is like a dream. <laughs> well, she is never going to want to do that to my van. There's some cool stuff in there. And, uh, well, thank you. I think so now, too. Yeah, there <laughs> so. you go. And you can have a cool van, too. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Yeah. So we've been talking, and the simplest way for her in order to use it as well as a shower is to have a removable bottom to wear you get some binder clips or some clips that you can use get it for a tarp and you binder clip it all around for when you want to have a floor and then when you want to take a shower you unclip the tarp and then you put the tarp up here on the back and so your car doesn't get wet inside that is brilliant <laughs> that's a great idea oh we're so smart <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what I do.